So, hello, my name is Johan Falk. I'm going to show you uh, some uh, a script thing I did to be able to translate stuff uh, in Google Spreadsheets uh, in order to use them in Paperize. This is a Paperize video. Paperize is a neat tool, open source uh, stuff uh, to uh, build game components. I use it for cards, which is, I guess, the standard ca use case, but it can be used for other things as well. Uh, you might want to visit Paperize at beta.editor.paperize.io or you could go just to paperize.io and support paperize at um, uh, Patreon, which of course is a good thing. There is also a nice Discord channel where you can talk to this nice fellow and other people. Um, so uh, what I'm going to show you here can be found at issue number 131 at github slash paperize slash paperize and then click over to issues uh, to get here. Um, okay, so what am I talking about? I have here a dummy project uh, translations. Let's open this one. And the spreadsheet for uh, managing content in cards here. I have some dummy columns here called title, description, cost, image and backside image. Uh, then I also want to have this game translated to Swedish. And it means that some of these columns, not all of them, but some of them uh, I'll have to translate to Swedish. So here I have the um, translated title for Banana Warrior is Banan Krigare in Swedish. And then we have some description also translated here. You can see I've used uh, title or headers here, title SE, where SE is the uh, abbreviation for the Swedish language uh, used in internet uh, um, situations. Same thing here, description SE instead of description. So I would like this to go into here when I translate to Swedish. And I've made a function to do this, which you can also use if I just open the apps script editor here. You can see a short function here, 26 rows, including blank lines and uh, comments and stuff. You can also find this over at issue 131. Just copy this uh, into your own uh, code editor here, which you find at extensions app script. Okay, and I'm going to show you how this works. You create a new tab, and then you write the name of this function, which is pa paperize translate right now, equals paperize translate and then parenthesis and then you select the original columns which contain the the all the stuff that you want to uh, use on this component or in, or in these cards comma and then the translated stuff that you want to insert into this uh, and replace in this this original content and then comma and then you uh, type the uh, language uh, code within quotation marks so S E and go and then this script uh, translates so we have banan krigare and ananas monk instead of banana warrior and pineapple monk uh, descriptions also are translated but these are left untouched and then in paperize I can for this cards component, I haven't added any content here, but uh, I make this not read from cards uh, sheet, but from the translated cards sheet. And then I can add stuff here, like the title or whatever. You've seen this before. Title. Excellent. And then we have Banan Krigare. How nice. And then if I go back here and just write something else in my translation here, just an X or something, then this script won't find any. Oops. Hello there. What? Has this been? Okay, sorry, I happened to enter some text where this wanted to add stuff. If it can't find any matching columns uh, for, for this language uh, given here, 
x in this case, and we have no title x or description x, then it will fall back to this original content. So we have here Banana Warrior, and if I go into Paperize again and just reread here, we have Banana Warrior. And when I want to make my Switch version, I change this to SE, and we get... I don't know why this... To, oh. Then we get the switch version. I could just I have a fancy, um, say, German translation as well. Let's do this on the fly. Title DE for Deutsch. DE, I am not confident enough in, Do in German to make a translation on the fly, but Google can help me. Google Translate translates this text from the source language English to the target language Deutsch, please. And then we have Bananenkrieger. And we just copy this to the other rows. Ananasmönch, ein Mönch, der seine Sachen kennt. Amazing. And then I can go here and have this just translated to Deutsch, German instead. I don't know why this appears here all the time. I'm sorry about that. Come on. Deutsch? Okay, because then I have to expand the, these uh, columns. It searches F to G here. As you can see, F to G. I should extend this to I instead, so let's do that. F to I. Go. And then we have Banana Warrior in, again. Okay, good. And now we have the German version of the game, ready to publish, just reload here, and we have Bananenkrieger. Uh, so, translations uh, from uh, of your uh, game. Keep all the content you want in some kind of original stuff, and then add columns for the translations. Use this fancy function. Paperize translate is not actually paperize thing here. It's just my own stuff, but I'll call it paperize translate. Use this function to say, uh, to add, these are, well, take this original content, replace with uh, content in these columns if they match this language uh, code. That's it. I hope this uh, was entertaining or uh, uh, maybe even better helpful. See you some other time. Bye.